Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. With growing automation testing industry and day by day there are new automation testing tools or AI tools coming into the market, we have this dilemma whether we should continue with same existing automation tool which we are using from long back or we should learn a new trending automation tool. So in this video, we are going to talk about similar topic. We have this dilemma that, uh, you know, we are learning selenium from long back and since in the market there are so many automation testing tools which are very trending and they are growing a lot and we are listening here and there about those tools so whether we should also learn or switch to those tools or not so we are going to talk about that in this particular video also we are going to take playwright as our new trending automation tool so we are going to compare selenium and playwright so if you are an experienced person or a newbie this video is going to be helpful because at the end of the video you are going to be able to decide whether we should learn playwright or should stay with selenium so without any delay let's start this video Hi, my name is Amit Ripathi and I have more than nine years of working experience in IT industry. And I make videos on AI tools, automation testing, IT industry related. And if you have any particular topic in mind, which you want me to prepare video on, so you can comment in the comment box and I am going to make video on that topic as well. So without any further delay, let's start. Okay, so we are on the screen where we are going to discuss about Playwright versus Selenium. So before getting into the comparison part, let's talk about Playwright. So those who don't know what is Playwright, Playwright is also an automation testing tool which helps write automation test cases. It's not only the UI automation, but this is also helpful in performing API testing. So Playwright was developed by Microsoft and it is an open source Node.js based framework. So now uh, this also supports cross browser testing. That means it uh, whatever test cases you have generated, those test cases can be executed on multiple browsers. Also, it supports Windows, Linux, Mac, Mac OS. So it is a cross platform automation tool. Now uh, Playwright also supports multiple programming languages. So Generally, we have this conception that Playwright only works with uh, uh, JavaScript, but uh, not anymore. We have other language bindings as well, uh, like Java, JavaScript, Python, .NET, C Sharp. So if you wanted to work with C Sharp, then also you can use Playwright. Again, uh, Playwright can be integrated with major CI CD servers. So if you wanted to execute your test cases using any uh, CI CD platform like uh, Jenkins or Azure pipeline or something like that, you can also execute your test cases on that. Again, uh, Playwright also compatible with many testing frameworks like Jest, Jasmine, Mocha. All these are JavaScript based testing frameworks. But if you are working with other languages, you can have other testing frameworks as well. Now uh, coming to the top features of Playwright. So if we are learning any particular new automation testing tool, then it is also necessary that we should understand what all are the new or helpful features of that particular tool because of which that tool is trending in the market and why even we should be considering to learn it. So here uh, we are going to discuss about top features of Playwright. So Playwrights best and top feature is auto weight and there are many more but uh, auto weight is one of the feature which was not available in uh, selenium and because of that playwright is also going to help in reducing the flaky test so that auto weight feature is very important so when testers run a playwright test script ui is ready at the back end before the test interacts with the web elements so this is very important you know uh, if any particular web element is not appearing on the uh, UI or it is not ready to take any action, maybe click or maybe, uh, you know, uh, setting up the text into the text box. So Playwright makes sure whenever we are performing any action on that particular web element, then it should be ready to take that action. Second thing, Playwright ensures auto wait. So it's like, if you are navigating to any particular page, Playwright is going to help you auto wait. That way, 
it is uh, going to make easier to write concise test scripts you need not to put explicitly weights to wait for another page next is auto wait feature in uh, playwright performs all relevant checks so as i mentioned before also it is going to perform whether that particular web element is available or not whether it is visible or not whether it is enabled or not so all those checks it is going to perform before performing any action on the web element so again since auto wait is there because of that we have a big big relief from flaky tests so what are those flaky tests if my test is passing one time and it is failing for another time so reducing flakiness is another top feature of playwright which is there now next is playwright also supports parallel testing through browser context so this is also available in uh, selenium but those are the top features of playwright now coming on next is selenium right so what is selenium again we all are aware i think if you are an experienced automation tester or manual tester or working in it industry you must be aware of this this is very widely used automation testing tool it's been uh, 20 years recently selenium has celebrated its 20th anniversary it was founded in 2004 so selenium is an open source automation testing tool that is widely used for automation testing for web application it does not support any uh, api testing or something so that is the biggest advantage with playwright that if you wanted to perform api testing playwright is going to help you in that particular framework itself you need not to have another framework so if anything any action which you wanted to perform on the browser selenium is going to help with that it also supports chrome firefox safari uh, different browsers different cross platform uh, platforms like windows linux and mac os selenium supports huge variety of programming languages now this is one of the advantage uh, in selenium that it supports so many languages uh, you name that particular language that uh, famous language and it is going to support that also so being it java ruby perl c sharp node js python php so many more it is the most popular framework to test websites and ensure seamless and consistent user experience across different browsers and devices combination so this is also one of the key feature of selenium that it supports multiple browsers multiple device combination so if you write a test case for one device it is going to work for multiple devices and because selenium is an industry leader uh automation tool so it also has good community right so now coming back to the comparison part playwright versus selenium so we have some criteria on which we are going to compare these tools so language again playwright supports comparatively lesser uh, languages uh, but selenium has uh, major languages covered so it's java python c sharp ruby and so many more but playwright only support four or five languages ease of installation both of them are easy to install uh, it's just uh, you have to you know uh, install uh, node js and uh, uh, in in case of selenium it should be uh, you know uh, uh, whatever languages uh, you are using based on that you have to just install those uh, jar files in java something like that so it is easy to install test runner framework uh, it supports mocha test jasmine and there are other frameworks as well selenium is a library so uh, it supports test runners like j unit test ng and n unit for different languages we have different test frameworks basically so trace viewer is another uh, powerful tool which comes with playwright so trace viewer is what trace viewer basically with the help of trace viewer you can look into the requests and responses which are coming and going from the browser so you can interrupt those requests and responses and you can look over the, there you can perform some actions on top of those as well so that functionality is available with playwright and it is not available or it is very limited available with selenium so that is the best part and top feature of of playwright which is being offered so prerequisites node js should be installed on playwright and java eclipse ide uh, and standalone server if you are using different types of uh, uh, language binding it it depends on the language binding how, what different types of language bindings you are using based on different languages you uh, can use different ides and different jar files or 
uh, DLLs. Again, operating system support, both support, both of the, all of the uh, major operating system platforms. Open source, both are open source and free. Architecture, if you uh, see, headless browser. So headless browser is one of the integrated uh, event driven architecture, which is followed in Playwright. But in case of uh, Selenium, you have layered architecture based on JSON wire protocol. So that is also support headless browsers. Again, different browsers uh, support. So both of them support most of the popular uh, browsers. Again, support wise, because Playwright is fairly new. So community support is little less compared to the Selenium because Selenium is market leader in last 20 years for automation tools. So it has very wide community support. Again, uh, real devices support. So both of them supports many, many um, devices. So if you want to scale your test cases on multiple devices, both of the tools support on different devices. Now, the biggest question is, which one to choose? So far, we talked about Playwright, we talked about Selenium. Now, uh, we, we just discussed about the comparison part, but now we have to understand which one to choose basically. So here, uh, if you see Playwright versus Selenium, both Playwright and Selenium both have its own limitations and advantages at the same time. So it depends on the project requirements and the priorities to choose one among these two testing frameworks. So now I am going to explain when you can use Selenium and when you can use uh, Playwright. Again, uh, this is uh, from the perspective of the technical aspect. There is another aspect also. I am going to talk about that in uh, some time. So first is when to use Selenium because Selenium supports wide browser compatibility. So uh, which is available in both of them. Again, uh, Selenium has good in infrastructure. So if you wanted to scale your test cases, maybe, you know, thousand test cases, 2000 test cases are there. So Selenium is fairly able to handle all number of test cases. Again, uh, you should have mature projects. So if your project is in development phase and there are lots of lots of changes which are going on and then uh, selenium could not be your best fit and language flexibility so if your team has different languages so selenium because comes with multiple language bindings so in case your team has any specific language requirement or your team has proficiency in certain language selenium can fulfill that as well now coming next to Playwright. So because Playwright is now trending tool, so it has many, many uh, uh, advantages also. So it is said that Playwright can be helpful to test modern web application. Trace viewer is another uh, good uh, feature in Playwright, which is not there in Selenium. So with trace viewer, basically you can look into the request and responses which are coming and going from browser. So you can interrupt those and you can work on uh, that level as, as well. Again, headless browser testing is available with both of them uh, being uh, Selenium or Playwright. It's available in both handling complex interaction. This is another uh, good thing uh, with Playwright. Consistent APIs across browsers. So you can have APIs to work with different browsers. Again, API testing is supported by Playwright. So in that case, you need not to have another API testing framework. So parallel test execution, it is available with both of them. So this is also supported in Playwright. So these all are the technical aspect of Selenium and Playwright, when to choose and when not. So now I am going to talk about another perspective, which is related to the opportunities. So now I will show you what are number of opportunities. So based on the number of opportunities, we'll see what are the comparison in between Selenium and Playwright. So if I just go on knockery.com and search for Selenium here, then I would be able to see all those job opportunities which are available with Selenium, right? So if I just go in here in the posted by so if you see just now here company jobs are 8598 for selenium and for consultant uh, jobs basically uh, those jobs which are posted by consultants we have 
1462 so it's huge in number so for selenium you have you will be able to find out huge huge number of opportunities but for playwright if you just go in here and if i just refresh for playwright then if i just go in here then i would be looking at posted by so here company jobs are 347 and consultant jobs basically those jobs which are posted by consultants are 51 only so in total it's 400 opportunities for playwright and for selenium we can see here it's more than 9000 opportunities are there so if you are starting uh, your career in automation testing then i think uh, it is very good choice to have uh, selenium as your first automation tool and if you are already well versed with selenium and working in automation testing in industry then uh, it is always good to explore more latest tools and technologies so for experienced persons i think uh, playwright is very good choice it's also emerging one of the competitor to selenium so going forward also as playwright grows with the popularity maybe uh, if selenium guys don't evolve with time with the need of the automation testers if uh, they don't evolve they don't bring in more features then who knows uh, playwright will be the uh, next selenium okay so i hope this helps to understand the playwright and selenium comparison and also it has given you some insights to look over and decide better which one to go with if you found this particular video helpful please don't forget to press like button and if you are new to the channel and visiting for the first time press subscribe button to get more such insightful videos with that amitra pathi signing off